Hey guys, okay, so I've had some requests on asking me what I use to clean my bike. Um, and frankly, I clean my bike about once a week. Um, and I kind of go through the same process every single time that I do. Uh, as far as cleaning products go, um, I like the Meguiar's products. I use this soap and this wax. Um, behind the wax, basically, okay, <laughs> basically what I do at the beginning of the season, each season, I wash it, I clay bar it with this clay bar kit Meguiar sells, which uses a quick detailer. Um, what you do is you put the clay, you spray it down with a quick detailer and you rub the clay on the paint gently and it picks up any contaminants in the paint. And then I go through and I use the, the polishing um, pre-wax glaze and then I go with the liquid wax here um, to kind of finish it off to make it look good. Um, and it comes with these foam applicators that I use um, because I'm just doing my bike using the foam applicator for me it doesn't take me very long um, now as far as towels go I use the and I picked all this stuff up at Walmart you can get everything at Walmart so I use the cleaning towel to actually wash my bike and dry my bike now to get the wax off I use what they call these microfiber spa towels they're extremely soft and they work really good um, so I'm gonna kinda go through my process that I go through once a week with cleaning the bike, the chain, everything else, and get it ready for riding. Um, so I'm going to not do the polish or the clay barring because I've already done that this year. I don't really need to do it again. And I'm just going to do the wash and the wax. So here's my bike. I've got other videos of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start off. Um, basically, I live in a townhome and I have a garage that's separate from my townhome. So what I'm going to do, ignore this dirty towel, is use, I've got one big bucket that I'm going to use for clean water to wash down the bike when I'm done cleaning it. Um, for, so that's going to stay clean water. I'm going to put my soap in the gray bucket and I'm going to use that to wash down the bike um, and everything else that I need to do. Um, it works out good. So for those guys that say I can't do it because I can't run a hose, um, stop thinking of excuses because you can do it. You just need to buy. Actually, I got that blue bucket for free, and I bought that other bucket for like two or three bucks. So fill them up, warm water, and you'll be good to go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the soap in that bucket, and then I'm going to wipe down the bike, um, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so before I start wiping down the bike um, with the soap water, um, I kind of take the rag, fill it up with soap water, and I like just drizzle it all over the bike to kind of get the process started. It'll start breaking up that dirt and everything else. So um, I do that, I get it all over the bike, and then I start with the front of the bike, and then I work my way back to the back of the bike and I finish off with the rims and everything else. So that's kind of my process. I start at the top and I work my way down to the back and the rims are last because those are typically, the, the rims and the swing arm underneath the tail and stuff are usually last because that's where most of the dirt and stuff is. So I like to try to keep that stuff off the rag as long as possible because um, you get dirt on your rag, you start rubbing it on other pieces, it'll start making those fine scratches and everything. So. Um, okay, I'm going to finish wiping down the bike, but I did want to put that note in here so you guys kind of had it. So, all right. Okay, so I have wiped down the bike with soap water, got it all clean, and then I took my bucket of clean water, and then I take another rag that I'm not using for the soap, another clean one, and I literally use it as a sponge. I dip it in this, soak up the water, and then I squeeze it over the bike like that to get it all, all the soap off. And usually by the time I'm done, there's still about half the bucket left. And I'll just pick the bucket up and I'll just, you know, start at the front of the bike and just dump it down it. And then it cleans it up pretty good. So, uh, now I'm on to the drying. So now I'm going to take another one of these. These are actually just freshly washed. So I'm going to take this bad boy, go over, go over the whole bike, wipe it down, 
Um, when this towel starts to get pretty soaked with water, I just wring it out. And then I go over a second pass with another clean one once, once I think the bike is dry. Um, and then I also use the air compressor in certain portions too. Um, so I'll show you that too when I get to that. But So I'm going to run over the bike now with a dry cloth and uh, dry it off the best I can now. Okay, so I went over a single pass with that towel and I got the rims and the bike almost dry. So now what I'm gonna do, which is probably gonna be kind of loud, I'm gonna take a new dry cloth. Over here and grab one. Okay. And now I'm gonna grab my air compressor try to do this all with one hand. There are a couple key points on the uh, 09 to current R1 that like to collect water. Oh, that's really dark right here, so let me get on this side. Like to collect water, and um, so I'm gonna go over those areas here real quick and kind of point them out where I use the air compressor to kind of blow the, wa blow the water out. Um, one key point is down here on the front fender, those two bolts on each side, those like to collect. So what I'm going to do is literally just take the air compressor, get it close, don't, don't scratch the paint, but just tap it. And hopefully I didn't get the camera wet. I did. <laughs> so I'm going to wipe off the camera now. It's better. Okay. And then wipe off the area that I just uh, shot with air. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, wipe it down again. And then that area, and then that bolt and that bolt do the same thing. They kind of just pull the water. So blow those out. And I'm just going to go down one side of the bike because it's going to be the same for the opposite. Now my Pazzo levers like to collect them too in that area and that area so I can kind of sp spray down the controls too while I'm over here. So wipe down the controls a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Now the major area for me, especially right now, is my driven fuel cap. Um, it collects water all around the outside circle portion. You'll see it when I go to shoot it with air here. And hopefully, actually I'm going to shut off my air compressor so it doesn't kick on so you can hear me. Okay, so you'll be able to kind of see it here once I get going. So, yeah, that's where it collects a ton of water is around that thing. And you'll definitely notice it when you go off to, when you go actually go off to ride, it'll uh, kind of spray up in your face. You'll want to know, you'll be wondering what's going on. So that's a major area too to keep an eye out for. Um, so other areas that I'm going to hit are going to be the rear sets the bolts on the coolant cover, my um, light tech chain adjusters, um, and then the passenger pegs um, right where they pivot and they're going to kind of start to collect water. And then I also try to do like the frame, frame holes here and here, and then the frame sliders in here. Um, it'll blow out all the water and you'll be good to go. So. Um, also around some of these engine casings, all these bolts collect. Um, so it depends on how into it you want to get, but that's typically what I do. So um, I'm going to go through and do that and then I will be back. Okay, so the bike is dry, it's been washed, everything. So the only step that I have left, some people will be done here, but... Um, I'm going to wax it as well with that same wax that I showed you. Um, the wax that I use is the Ultimate Liquid Wax. Um, it says it's pure synthetic, so it's the Meguiar stuff. It comes in this black box here and comes with 
one of the foam applicators and a black microfiber cloth as well to wipe off the wax. So that's what I use. So I'm going to go over all the paint. Uh, I usually start at the front and then I work my way to the left and to the right side and then I do the tank and then I do the tail and then I even actually do my cans as well. Um, I do a very light coat on those. Um, anything that's got a clear coat on it you can do. Um, it'll protect it from the sunlight, from sun fading. Um, one thing you want to keep an eye on is, especially on my bike, is the lower fair fairing is a matte finish and the upper fairing is a gloss finish. You do not want to put wax on the matte finish because it will make it look like crap. It'll turn it white. You actually don't want to put it on anything that isn't paint. Um, so like all the plastic panels. And I'll actually take off my seat um, so I can get up in and around that without actually getting it on the seat and dyeing my seat white. And then I'll do my uh, solo seat cowl and everything else. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing when you're washing these bikes too, I see a lot of guys missing is like the undertail and the pipe down there. Um, those get really dirty really quick so I try to clean those up every time I'm cleaning as well um, along with the passenger pegs down here. Um, and another thing to keep in mind of is if you have an aftermarket exhaust, even the factory exhaust, it can start to dye the plastic and if you have an aftermarket tail too so um, I try to wipe those down and you can actually see my white towels when I'm done waxing and I clean it off in that area they actually start to turn like a yellow getting all the carbon off um, I was going to put my chain cleaning video in the same video as my detailing but so that guys don't have to um, watch my detailing video they can actually watch the chain cleaning one as a separate video so I do that too when I clean my bike so if you're interested in seeing on how I how I clean my chain and what I clean it with check out the next video that I'm gonna put up after this one it's gonna be a whole separate video so um, also front and rear stands are pretty much um, key when you're cleaning your bike too if you want to get the rims really well because all you have to do is take the towel put one hand here and the other hand spin the wheel and then you know you're not moving the bike around to clean it and that's the same with the chain um, when you're cleaning the chain having a rear stand at least is key but I have a front and rear and then I also have a pit bull but this one's easier to get on when I'm not doing anything with the forks or the steering head so um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put some wax on um, I'll kind of show you how I do the front portion um, so you can kind of get an idea on how it's done any of the liquid waxes, you're going to want to shake really well. Um, any of these bottled waxes, you're going to want to shake really well to get it mixed up. So I'm going to shake this here for a little bit, and then I'll show you putting it on the applicator and actually putting it on uh, the front fairing here and how that's done. So, be right back. Okay, so now I've got it shaken up decently well. Um, I'm going to put some on the applicator. Um, I always use a little bit, a couple stripes, and then work it into the applicator um, so that the applicator actually holds most of the wax. Um, so I'm gonna go over to the bike, try to do this with one hand. I'm going to take this and I'm gonna dab it on the bike see how it kind of pushes it into the applicator and then I can take the applicator itself and start the moderate pressure fast movement um, waxing proce procedure um, just getting it on there make sure there's a nice thin coat all over the bike um, obviously just on the painted surfaces and as a matter of fact I even do my windscreen um, helps hide all the swirl marks that you get into it so if you got a windscreen I would do it honestly uh, this is a zero gravity windscreen for those of you guys that don't know so I'm gonna go over the whole bike like this and then um, get back to you guys so do the whole do your whole bike at once whole thing because you want this wax to dry um, 
it's not like the polish. The polish, you don't want to dry the wax. You do want to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and do the whole bike, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have waxed the entire bike. You can see there's a slight haze to everything. Um, so what you want to do is you want to wait for this stuff to dry. Um, and you'll be able to tell by just running your finger over it. If it comes off with one finger swipe, then it's probably dry. Um, so I'm gonna, at this point, what I would typically do is start cleaning the chain while the wax is drying. Um, so, but I'm gonna wait and I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and continue the detailing video and then I will get into the chain. So once this is dry, I'm gonna wipe it off and we should be done. Okay, so now that the wax is dry, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my white spa towel that I showed you at the beginning of the video, and I'm gonna go over it, the entire bike, and just wipe it off in a circular motion, um, making sure I get around all the little cracks and crevices and everything, like my mirror block off plates, get up and around those well, um, and then do the whole bike. So this is pretty much the process, and then when I'm done, I'll probably use another clean towel and go back over it again to make sure I get off all the residue. Sometimes it can still leave a little bit of a haze on it. Um, so that's basically the process of detailing your bike. Um, when you're done, make sure you get around, like especially if you wax, there's, like, there's a crease right here with the windscreen and the, and the front fairing. Um, I try to take the towel and I push it into that crack pretty hard to try to get all the wax out of that. Um, and it usually bunches up there. And then I also bunch up my towel and I put it in this crack here, and then the crack going along the tank itself. Um, and that pretty much takes care of that. So if you have any questions on detailing, products, how I do it, why, um, let me know. Um, so that's it for the detailing video. Again, like I said, I'm going to get into cleaning the chain, but I'm going to make that a separate video. So if you want to know how to do that, uh, look at the video. Any other questions, let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye.